Today I want to show you something called Biteable.com. It is marketed as the world's simplest video maker and I would almost agree it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy for you to use, it's pretty easy for your students to use, and it doesn't take too much technology experience. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to create a free account. Once you create a free account, and I just use my Google, you log in. Logging into Biteable, you then have your dashboard, I guess would be what this is called, and you have the option to create a new video. So if you want to create a new video, you obviously would click the plus sign. The cool thing about Biteable is you don't have to do a whole lot of thinking. You just have to pick a template. So it gives you kind of an overview. You could do advertising, a presentation, an intro, a slideshow, or a business explainer. Now, I would not choose this start from scratch button until you've used Biteable a few times and you're more familiar with it and you're pretty creative. So let's just pick one. You would type in your information. So this is a business explainer video. So let's say I'll want to make a free video. Then you say save and next. Next slide where you can look at it, determine what type of information you might want on that slide. So let's say Biteable is easy and free to use. Let's change that to Biteable.com. Save and next. Again, you would enter information. You use a template to create. Save and next. So you get the point. It's really, really easy to use. You could use this when you're working with students and they are creating projects. They could work together. You could use this if you want to introduce a specific teaching concept. And little introductory videos are very popular in introducing lessons, especially on the flipped classroom. If you wanted to, if you got to the end and you ran out of space, you could add a scene here. So let's just say save and next, save and next, save and next. You can choose different color palettes. I'm just going to pick one. And you can add audio, different sorts of music, and then preview. Once your video has been processed, you can play it. And it's just that simple. This is not specifically content related, so you could use it in any content area. It's just a simple, easy way to create a quick explainer video. There are some limitations, I think, to this product. For one, there's not a voiceover feature. Um, it is a little difficult to start manipulating if you don't use the templates a few times. Um, I'm not 100% sure if you only just can sign up with your Google email. I haven't used it in a whole classroom setting yet, so I'm not sure how easy it will be for your students to use, but I signed up with Google, so if your students have a Google email, it should be pretty easy for them to sign up for a Biteable account. You would save your um, video here. Don't forget to title it. Once it is saved, then you can go back to your dashboard. And here is your video. You have the option with the three, you can edit, you could go back and edit it. You have the options with the three little dots to download it, but that requires an upgrade. So I guess your students would have to log in to show their video to each other, or you would just make videos for your students, which you could then show them at the beginning of a lesson. I hope you like Biteable.com. Thank you.